Yo. Now listen up. take over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna take off on time. I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get canceled. Is it just me, or is Ryuji not here yet? Ah... I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. Uh, coming late even on a day like this? That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? Yeah, that. Well, I guess so. Hey, guys. They want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Why don't we take a group shot before we take off? Ooh, sounds good. You be our cameraman, okay? Let me join in too. You too, Makoto. <laughs> All right. Uh huh? Uh, where am I supposed to look? Let me see. Let me see. Shit, she's right. How could you tell, Futaba? <laughs> Talk about a nasty trick. I am so glad she's not an enemy of ours. Find your buses Whoa. that way. Damn, you speak Japanese? Whoa, I see it! The diamond thing! Oh man! The ocean is so blue! <laughs> We're here! Hawaii! I am so embarrassed. Oh, is this the smell of Hawaii? Actually, I've been wondering since the airport, but uh, what is this smell? Supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner. It's coconut scented. Plus, I'd say the scent of plumeria for the Lays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here. <laughs> what are you, the king of random facts? I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. 
Then uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. I want a room with this guy. <sighs> you belong to a different class, Sakamoto kun. I can't. It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out after all. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Shut up. We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? And if it's okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? We've never gone overseas before, so we thought it'd be reassuring if we had someone who knows English. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Oh, come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? It's decided then. Anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. So this is Waikiki. Well, there sure are a ton of people here. And a lot of tall buildings like hotels. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought On was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Nah. Then stop looking! You think so too, don't you? Like, these ladies are massive, unlike the girls in Japan. I know, right? Moving on. Take a look over there. Isn't that Diamond Head? Oh, I saw it from the bus, too. But why is it called that? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki, too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants, then. Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. It's like... This ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii-like. What's Hawaii-like? Uh, hula dancing? Uh-uh, I ain't down for that. We can finally take a breather. Oh, by the way. You know how the polls for the fan site ranking started, right? It's been really lively, huh? I'm the one who made the website, but even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good-looking one. His popularity plummeted after Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly, his official blog's up in flames. He posed as some hero of justice, but that's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Uh, to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them too? You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But, then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired, too. Ah, <sighs> let's go to bed. Good night. Hmm.
the way. Hold on a sec! To tell the truth... Reminds me. Hmm? <laughs> what is the matter? Yes. then. Wait. Uh, sorry. Oh. way. Oh. 
It. One after another, too. What did you find? Still working, can't tell you. <laughs> she can handle this without me. Ooh, so much. All I'm good for is driving them around in mementos. I'm basically useless. Kitty, your mumbling's distracting me. If you got something to say, just spit it out. It's nothing. What were you saying? Let me go! You feel so nice. I do not! So smooth and silky. It's kinda hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again! I'm a human! Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. It's not the same. I understand myself better than anyone. That's true. <sighs> there are even more posts now. Oh, wow. The president of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly up the rankings. Come on, you can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs, that's how they have so many stores. Yo. Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. Felt totally awkward staying in there with him. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Even though there are only two beds? Coming! Takamaki? sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend's room. I know that feeling. And she took the key. I stepped outside for just a second and the auto lock kicked in. I can't get back in my room. Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the Medjet case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut! Oh, what should I do about overseas requests? I, I don't think we're the ones you should ask about that. They took down Medjet. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. That reminds me, what time is it? Hmm... <sighs> Oh, so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Wait, what? I, I don't I don't know if that's a good idea. Don't worry, I trust you guys. I saw that one coming. There are only two beds. Even if someone sleeps on the sofa, one of us is gonna have to sleep on the floor. So who's that gonna be? Oh, hey, playing cards. Why don't we use these to decide? Yes! But... I'm all the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. 
Hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? The school trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. On. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. But it's already been almost six months since then, hasn't it? <laughs> this all feels so strange. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? You know, things like what kind of people we like. So, time to come clean, Ryuji. Me? Uh, well... She's gotta have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? If they're equally nice, uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. So looks are what's most important to you. What? Your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs. Huh. So you really are that kind of guy. That ain't fair! What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? Wait, are you talking about her? Well, we answered honestly. It's your turn next. So, what kind of guy do you... So, what kind of guy do you... That doesn't sound good. You know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? That's like the one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. No, I believe that is a wise decision. Though it was some third-rate tabloids article. Unnecessary information was leaked, after all. Besides, his investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress since then. Yes, there's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Well, then, we'll make it so that it was a heart attack. As usual, he'll be left to deal with the... I wouldn't have thought of that. Well played, sir. It no longer matters if we deal with one or two of those connected to us. As I was saying...
sorry to ask you out here so suddenly. Being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected. We've had a lot of meetings. I honestly wanted to contact you earlier, but this is the first free moment I've had. That sounds lovely. All right then, let's take a walk. Oh, a food stand. Acrylic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. Are you adventurous when it comes to food? That's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. Well, let's give it a try. You two from Japan? Uh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. I'll do just that. Amazing. How beautiful. Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. To tell you the truth, I wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip. If it's like this, I think I'd like to come again. Yeah. Um, I'd like you to have this. It's not the best souvenir, but... It will remind you of the memories we made today. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. I suppose I can't complain about that. That aside. Alright then.
was no need for you to have angered our director right now. But still, you would have eventually shut up if you just nodded. I guess you got a point. Yo, welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? I'm glad I paid for your travel expenses then. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more problematic. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year. Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't take it so seriously. I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi Kun? Well. There he is, the anti thief detective. I hope he slips up and self destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However... No, I shouldn't say anymore. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Wanna meet now? Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? W well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. 
Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? <sighs> this is bad. I'd better tell the others. What's up? about you know what right with the principal and we will now begin the emergency morning assembly as many of you may already know principal kobayakawa passed away yesterday i wonder if that suicide wound was for real it happened in front of the police station didn't it i think i was passing through there at the time the principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing! Either way, it serves that principal right. Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this, too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <sighs> I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything.
Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods, more prominently its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings, after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah... the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, on? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey! Aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey! You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. So 
sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it! I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. I remember the data you showed me about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really... impossible alone? How horrible! What? I, I can't see... Who's there? Esther? It's there, after them. Where did they go? We must find them. Another one has been located, beyond guard. There are two of them, divide and pursue. Intruders discovered, commencing pursuit protocol. Holy crap, this place is huge! It is the headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? It's definitely on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. 
I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty too? I'm positive I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him too. You said you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Huh? The hell? Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. Big Bang is space lingo, you know? Um, not necessarily. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. We better be able to breathe once we get in there. Is everyone ready? I'm activating it now. President Okumura must be on guard, what with everything that's been in the news. That bastard. It's just causing more trouble for us. Whoa! It's as though we're in a film. I wish I bought my sketchbook. What is that? Of them. They all have the Big Bang Burger logo. They're saying something. You must adhere to your shifts. If you don't like it, you can quit. However, you will not be compensated. What are they talking about? disposed of these robots are part of okumura's cognition correct that means they represent this is pure speculation but this is most likely how the workers of okumura foods are viewed by their ceo so he thinks they're his robots if they're treated like this in reality as well then the company truly is exploiting them See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said! Mona is our main objective here. He doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Let's search further in. <sighs> Damn it. Hold, vigilante! Who's that? Rame and Kanashiro we're talking about? So, she's the reason for all those people going brain dead? It was a girl this whole time? <sighs> Are you the one who's been following us? Say something, damn it! <laughs> Enough of your misunderstandings. Mona! You're okay! Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. If you came for the treasure, you should just go home with your tail between your legs. Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this... This beauty thief! Beauty thief? I'll have you know she's a Persona user, too. My name is Beauty Thief. She really called herself that? 
any tension that was in the air has just gone out the window. We will take the treasure! Ona already said that. You are not qualified to be phantom thieves. Do you even understand what it means to be a phantom thief? An admirable phantom thief is... Yeah, tell them! You! What do you think it means? Yes, that's right. Enough with the idle chit-chat. You started it. Mona, who the hell is she? Wait, I'll fix this. You! Me? Learn to take a hint. Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid. What? Um, what was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. I don't know. Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. treasure you already said that we don't have time to chat <sighs> no point it won't open don't underestimate us behind you here they come We need to go! We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry! Oh, hey! Bet you're tired. Uh, that was quite rough. I haven't felt exhaustion like this since I first awakened to my persona. What have you been looking at all this time? Sorry, I just didn't want to stand around and wait. The burglary at Okumura Foods is circulating the news again. Ugh, damn it! Why'd they keep coming after only me? It's all because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door! That door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. So how'd she get it to open? I wonder who that girl could be. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Do you believe it's true? Well, she did look like one. Did Mona betray us? Yeah. I don't think he's betrayed us. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us. Such as exposing our identities. Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? Considering her tone and physique, she looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Uh, for real? Where at? At school, I think? Wait, what? But now that you mention it, I feel like I've seen her, too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on, after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Let's check them all tomorrow. If we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura Foods, then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. We're gonna take them down. Oh! Man, this girl's hot! Ah, oh, but she's younger than me. Ryuji! No way! She's the same age as me? She looks like my dad's friend. 
Get back to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. Even if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. They're all starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? Someone sure is confident. Hmm? This girl! Haru Okumura. <gasps> Okumura? Wasn't the beauty thief like this too? Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her. It would also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. This may be worth looking into. But why was she at the palace? We could just make her spill the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. Interested in gardening? Really? In that case... If you could help me unload this... Boys sure are strong. Thank you. You're a second year, aren't you? That makes me just a tad older. met somewhere before? Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... Haru Okumura, correct? The only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura, CEO of Okumura Foods. Care to explain why you were inside your father's palace? Oh, so that's where we met. Wow, you figured it out in just a day. You looked really good in that biker gang outfit. Let's not talk about that. So, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various... doubts about him. Things have grown quite serious lately. That's why I want to make amends, even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. I found a lonely-looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Mm-hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the metaverse. There's no way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. Uh. I just want my father to atone for his crimes. And help Monachan, who gave me a chance to do just that. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we were... No, thank you. I will do this with Monochan and him alone. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. We shouldn't ignore Morgana either. I'm home, father. Drive them away. That's right. Make it a priority. 
I finally get a foothold into politics, and this happens. Phantom thieves? Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about phantom thieves? It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called phantom thieves. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. Both the young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. Yes, father. Very well, then. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. I understand. I will do the best I can. Good. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. You made me look everywhere for you. What were you doing somewhere without any reception? Out late with guys, that's it, isn't it? I would never do such a thing! Come on. Let me have some fun, too, will ya? Can't you do that for me? Uh! Haru! You little... Let go of Haru! Ah! Uh, what the... Goddamn cat! Sorry about the disturbance. It's just a lover's quarrel with my fiance. Fian what? But she's clearly fighting you. How dare you make a fool of me? I'll be telling your father about this too. I won't forget your faces. Are you okay? But Mona-chan... This is nothing. Was that person really your fiancé? Oh, so you're engaged then? That didn't seem like an ordinary fight, though. Shouldn't you talk to your parents about it? I think it'd be useless. I'll just be told to beg for his forgiveness. Even if it means groveling on the ground. <laughs> it seems she has her reasons. I'll, um, apologize about what happened earlier. So, would you let Haru rest for a while? Of course. We'll take her to your place, yeah? Thanks. I'm 
sorry. I fell asleep. Did you get enough rest? Mona-chan? Anyway, it's just as I told you a moment ago. I can't have you guys risk your lives anymore for someone useless like me. To be frank, there's no assurance that I'll turn back into a human either. This can't be called a fair deal. That's why I think we should split up. <laughs> Who said we're acting as phantom thieves for your sake? I'm doing it to expand my own horizons. No need to tiptoe around the situation. We're splitting up. You should stop lying. Do you remember what you said to me when I found you collapsed in the metaverse? That you're a phantom thief. That you're going to get stronger and have the others acknowledge you. You love being here, don't you? Of course not. I was lying to myself too. But when I formed a contract with my persona, I understood it all. Doing this because my father is doing something horrible was nothing but a superficial reason. The truth is, I... Don't want to get married, right? I thought that since an adult with responsibilities made the decision, it couldn't be wrong. I was such a fool, tied down by vague notions, and stayed quiet as my marriage partner was chosen. But I won't tolerate this anymore. I can't stand that creep! <sighs> That's how I truly feel. Why are you looking at me all of a sudden? Mona-chan, why is it that you always talked about becoming human again? That's... At first, I only thought of this team as a temporary dwelling until I regained my memories. But I wasn't making any progress on finding out what I am or why I was born. Morgana... I wanted a reason of my own. A reason to stay with the Phantom Thieves. I don't have anyone I want to save or get revenge on. Someone like me has no reason to stay here. That's why. To me, this team is... Come on, say it. You can do it. It's the only place I can belong. I want to stay here forever. That was refreshingly honest. <laughs> you should have just said so from the start. Jeez. If you stick with me, there's no telling what kind of trouble will come up. You better be sure about this. It's a little late for all that, don't you think? Of course we want to stay with you, too. <clears throat> uh, so... Well... I'm sorry I worried you guys. This is where I belong. My mind's all set. I'll make sure to work hard to pay my dues. It's too late to cancel our deal, got it? We're reforming our give and take deal. you say that your encounter with us was destiny? That's right. Encounter. Hmm? Oh crap! The last train's coming up! I must go as well. Let's continue this another time. I... Stay at our place. I'll arrange it. See you all tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep. 
I'm exhausted. Man, this place is as drab as always. Hey, what's going on here? You brought over another girl? Of course it worries me. I'm your guardian. So, you found our cat, and even took care of it. Oh, it wasn't a bother or anything. I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> What's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know. No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? I'll contact you again, so... Oh, right! Can we exchange contact info? Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. You belong here, don't you, Monachan? Well, yeah. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Excuse me? You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you even stayed out overnight without permission. I thought I had been clear about the friends you choose. Father, they're not like... I have my hands full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. Hello? I need to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? That's horrible. It's that same fiancé guy, right? You know what's going to happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to his house on October 11th. That means our deadline is the 10th. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Your current living situation may change as well. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate. I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. The mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course! I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From here on, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourselves. You're suddenly lecturing us? You're too naive. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. Even her persona's lacking a solid form at the moment. Weak? Really? She can transform at the very least, but to be frank, she may slow us down. A lot. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. Nah, don't worry about it. It's actually convenient for us to target that CEO. Check out this news blog. There's a lot of negative comments in regard to the Phantom Thieves. The names of obvious criminals have come up, 
So why haven't the Phantom Thieves acted yet? The way they're getting heated is on a different level. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, all right? Of course. We'll get them both. October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then. Hey, Doctor. Does it matter who likes someone first? What are you talking about? There's a boy I like, but my friend told me that I have to let her have him because she liked him first. Oh, that's not true. Really? Then why did she say that? It's likely because she's jealous of you. Just be careful because it might result in pandemonium. Pandemonium? That girl's gotten a lot better. So much so, in fact, that now she's gossiping. She even comes in on days she doesn't have to. It appears she's nearly fully recovered. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful due to your generic body type and bland health history. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. So thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the Phantom Thieves, I mean. <sighs> Come on. You and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. I visited Oyamata in jail. A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the Phantom Thieves. And to have it happen when it did, isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? <laughs> well, I don't care. The point is that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamada. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I bet the Phantom Thieves save people in need, just like doctors do. Huh? So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. I trust that you'll use them appropriately. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of death, granting thee infinite power. I'm not going to give them to you for free, though. So you better make some money in the name of justice. <laughs> now go. Take care. That's everyone. Now then. Okay, time for the meeting. Very well. Let us conclude this meeting. Okay, let's go. What are you 
you doing here? This is insane on so many levels. I thought I told you not to associate with vulgar people. That bastard. Him? Did he come into the palace too? No. He might look the same, but that isn't the real person. Remember what I explained to you earlier? You mean about the cognition thing? What are you mumbling about? Do you recall what I said before? That I would do my best for you. This is my answer to that. Are those... the rumored phantom thieves? I see. <laughs> You're handing them over to me as a plea for forgiveness. Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. You truly embody the Okumura motto. Very well, join me. Why do you only ever think about gains and losses? That's why the company has a bad reputation. All because you treat people like they're tools! To gain, you must give. One must be resolved to give even more if they wish to stand above others. We are on vastly different levels. And soon, I will rise to a new stage. The political world. The cold reality of kicking people down is a part of business. Virtue and sentiment are for losers. <laughs> Okumura Foods shall be the foundation of my victory. His company is just a stepping stone. Mr. Okumura. We don't need a girl who's been soiled by thieves. Unless you make some compromises. I can't introduce her to my father. She needn't be your lawful wife anymore. Take her as your lover or whatever it is you desire. Very well. I accept. Lover? I was raised under this company's wealth. I even accepted a political marriage for you! This is not what we discussed! Father, you want me to be that man's plaything just to satisfy your own ambitions? <laughs> Why fret? You should be overjoyed that you're fulfilling your role as an Okumura daughter. This is the only value you've had from the very beginning. So, even his own daughter's life is a commodity to him. I... Now, why don't you come to my place? Let's have fun. I'll play with you until I get bored. A high school fiance who wouldn't turn on. So vulgar. No! Haru's persona won't stand a chance against that. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> She hadn't awakened to her real power. That's all. How dare you? <laughs> I see you finally made up your mind, my dear baby princess. Freedom for you must stem from betrayal. If you still yearn for it now, then you must not err. Now tell me, who shall you betray? My heart has been set. You should know. Yes, that gaze! I can finally display my true strength! I am thou, thou art I! Let us adorn your departure into freedom with a beautiful betrayal! Jeez! Farewell, dear father. I am no longer your subservient puppet! Then so be it. You're worthless. Hm. Deal with them how you wish. You poor thing. I'll toy with you until you break. I don't expect you to come to reason at all. Uh-huh. 
Should have just told you this from the start, asshat. We are the Phantom Thieves, here to take your bride! Thieves who steal from others need to be severely punished. How will you be a good girl? Come, be my toy. I have no intentions of talking to you. For the sake of changing my father's heart, I cannot lose! So this is Haru's true power. Haru? Alright, let's do this! Time to pummel that scummy jerk! <sighs> I did it! I did it, Monachan! What were you saying about her persona being weak? He disappeared! Is that okay? Are you sure you taught her how things work in here? I did. Or so I thought. What's the point if she doesn't get it? Don't worry. Cognitive beings have no correlation to their real-world counterparts. You'll see when we get back. I guarantee he will be okay. Then he's not dead? That's right. Dude, does this mean we got a new teammate? Good to have ya. Uh... She already has a code name. You can call me Noir. Noir? It means black in French. I'd like to be a heroine of justice, but the Phantom Thieves are on the darker side of the law. I chose the name Noir to remind me of that. There you have it. As long as she's into it. She created quite an elaborate backstory. Noir. I like it. It conveys a dignity that won't bow down to others, as well as a rebellious spirit towards society. Thank you. Don't let your guard down, Noir. Our trip through the palace doesn't end until we steal the treasure, after all. Yes, sir! Someone's talking all big again. Beat him up! Done and done! Don't you know what? Wait! See. Yep, yep. For real? <laughs> <laughs> 